this is our sofa, and I will give you that it is maybe eight or nine years old. And as you can see, this side is different than the other. If we pull this up, this side is perfectly flat. There's no problems with this side whatsoever. However, this side, you can see there's a bulge. Like there's something that isn't being held there. And sitting on it, it depresses down as much as it gets up. This one is nice and solid. Something in here is broken. I've looked at repair options and they were prohibitively expensive. And uh, this is a good sofa. And so we're going to attempt to repair it ourselves. So I've flipped the sofa op over. I did learn that you should do this from the bottom. There's ribs. There's a rib one there, rib here, rib here. And they're all rock solid. So I'm going to remove this black felt paper off the bottom. And hopefully I will be able to see something of value underneath there. All right. So the good news is I figured out what's wrong. Look at the, the, the screen right. You see this wire? It's intact. All of these pieces are intact up to here where it breaks. And at the end here, attached to the front of the frame is a, an S that attaches to there. These are all good. When you get over on the left side, that one's good. You see this one is broken. This one should be attached right there. And this wire is broken here. So we have one, two, three of those are broken. Now I did see something on the internet about how to redo this wire system. It's a method and I liked it. Um, but I'm also would like to know if there's any way I could redo this. So it's off to the Home Depot and repair place to see what I can't maybe figure out how to fix this myself. Well, I hit the jackpot. I decided to drive to a furniture restoration company in a neighboring town as opposed to Home Depot. And he was kind enough to give me that zigzag spring, the clips for the zigzag spring to the frame. I believe they go like this and the clips to hook these on to the adjoining springs. He gave me all this and some twine. He explained to me that the horizontal pieces are not really that important. They're not load bearing or anything. They just meant to keep it sort of stiff, you know, so they don't slide left and right. Anyway, he gave me all that stuff for 10 bucks. So now just pray that I can figure out how to actually get all this stuff to the right tension and the right uh, length and we're going to be golden. All right, we are ready to give this thing a shot. So these were nailed in. That is the biggest concern I have as to whether those nails will hold. It's not the exact same fastener as the original, and they're actually going to be being pulled out. So I'm hoping that those nails are pretty awesome. These were cut off with the Dremel, and the clips they gave me to tie on were probably acceptable for something but they weren't really sufficient. So if you look, I ended up tying them for $5 at Home Depot. I purchased um, rebar tie. So this stuff is built to hold rebar together, Just looped it around, pulled this tight. This was the hardest part because you had to pull these tight and pull, pull one up, one down, and clasp them together. I was going to wait for my wife, but I decided I would figure out how to do it on my own. So now flip it over and see what happens. So the last step is simply reattaching this uh, felt whose sole purpose is just to keep it clear. Last couple of staples. And we're done. I have tested it and it felt near like new. If you recall, there was a big hump over here, 
it actually feels really good now and when you sit on it it is no worse than what it was what, uh, what the other side is it is ah, very nice so for the first time in like six months we have a sofa that I'm not embarrassed to have my friends sit on.